the swarm brought ruin to our world. Our proud people became refugees. And yet, they could not shatter our unity. For we are bound by the Kala, the sacred union of our every thought and emotion. long last, we stand at the threshold of destiny. For today, we will restore the glory of our legacy. Today, we will retake what we have lost and reclaim our homeworld. And may the Kala's light guide us. The invasion fleet stands ready. We await only your command, Hierarch. You must halt this invasion at once. Zeratul? Templar! Arrest this traitor! No! We will hear him out. The End War has come. Amon, the Dark One, has returned. This heretic cannot be trusted. This invasion is a distraction from the true battle ahead. Amon's fury will engulf the entire galaxy. Do not forget that it was his interference that brought ruin to ire. And that burden weighs heavily upon me. Artanis, I have found a way to stand against the coming darkness. You must believe me. We have been through much together, Zeratul. But far too many have sacrificed in the hopes that this moment would come to pass. Executor! 
commence the invasion. of ire is underway we are preparing to siege the warp network at Karasan now well done Salendis. once the warp conduits are free of infestation our forces will strike as one across the surface of ire the templar await your command hierarch warriors ire awaits you march forth and take it Salendis, the conduit is ours warp down reinforcements as you command. Two warp conduits remain in the grip of the Zerg. Ready yourselves, brethren. We move for victory. Artemis, there are more hives in the surrounding area. Destroying them would deal the Zerg a crippling blow. The second warp conduit is activating now. Psi Matrix signal confirmed. Reinforcements warping in at your location. Artemis, this brood is coordinated. Their actions are intelligent, beyond Feral Zerg. You speak truly, Zeratul. An unseen hand moves them. We must be on guard. The final conduit lies before us. Show the Zerg no mercy. First born, your fate is sealed. Impossible. Hybrid on ire. It is they who have been leading the Zerg. This is the end of your race. The warp conduits have been secured. Our starfighters are moving to take this fight across the surface. Take command of the invasion, Executor. Zeratul, you and I must discuss this most recent turn of events further. Seems the end war you warned of has begun. Tell me, old friend, what is it you have learned? I have witnessed the end of all things. Horrific legions of hybrid, raising world upon world. In the darkness, lording over them a shadowy form. Amon. Yet, you spoke of a way to stand against him. This vision was a benevolent one, as if an ancient voice called out from beyond. The Keystone shall usher you unto hope. Keystone? I saw a burst of light revealing the Zelnaga artifact on the Terran world of Korhal. It is the Keystone of this vision. The prophecies speak of Zelnaga standing against Amon in the end times. I believe this keystone will guide us to them. I have always trusted you, Zeratul, but the burdens of leadership demanded much of me. There are times I am uncertain whether I was truly ready for such weight. Your doubt is unfounded, young Artanis. You must embrace what you have become, if you are to be the leader we now need. You will go to James Raynor on Korhal and receive this keystone. I will marshal our forces for the war ahead. When you return, the Templar will be ready. Entaro Tassadar, old friend. Antaro Artanis, brother. The Void Seed.
Seeker lies in ruins. What has transpired here? Zerg, protect the Dark Prelate. Hmm. The Zerg in this area should have been eradicated. Stalkers, hurry to the Nexus Point nearby and warn our brethren. I must investigate this further. Zeratul, the Templar are stationed here. I can no longer sense them within the Kala. Is that not impossible? Your kind cannot disappear from the Kala. Unless your nerve cords are severed. Then the impossible has happened. I can no longer sense Artanis. There is only a void in the Kala where he should be. The shadow moves against us, Executor. Artanis is in grave peril. You must raise an army and find him. My face smith, Carax, will help you re-establish this nexus point. Zeratul, save Artanis. Dark Prelate Zeratul, I am Carax of the Kalai Cast. Friend Carax, we must establish this nexus as quickly as possible. Understood. These structures allow you to raise your army, but they are powerless. Order a probe to warp in a pylon near them. These zealots have been corrupted. The hybrid must be behind us. Let us move with purpose. Executor Salentis, I have encountered your missing Templar, but they have been corrupted, as if possessed. Salentis, Zeratul, I... I can sense your presence. The Kala is filled with rage. My mind is being consumed. Artanis, you must hold on. We are coming for you. Your lies are meaningless. Purposes. I grant you salvation. is here, on Iyer. He has wrested control of the Kala. The Templar have fallen. With our nerve cords severed, only we Nerezim remain unaffected. It falls to us to halt this madness, brothers. We must reach young Artanis. I only pray that we are not too late. The voices whisper of oblivion. Of salvation. The Kala. Fury. And rage.
Zeratul. Unfortunately, they are without power. However, the Spear of Adun support systems can aid us. They will allow us to deploy pylons anywhere on the battlefield. We should deploy one here as soon as possible. The second power cell is active. The Spear sensor array is reacting. Do not deny your destiny, Artemis. Your people have finally found true unity. Every hand turns against you. Even the ground beneath your feet carries the seeds of my victory. Nidus Worms! Warriors, strike them down! We are not defeated yet! All shall be won! Conflict shall end. We're almost finished, Hierarch. The Spear of Adun is nearly online. Only one cell remains. Enough. The end to the cycle of infinite madness has come. Cease your struggle against the salvation I bring. Power transfer completed. The Spear of Adun is ready to depart. 
Let all firstborn free from Amon aboard, Facemith. We must flee this world if we are to survive. As you command. Inspired Karax, and we will free the Templar. I lost once more. My grand vision of reclamation left in ruins. I have failed my people. This must not stand. The Nerezim of Shakuras ritually sever their connection to the Kala. Because of this, they are now the last free Protoss. I must reach them before Amon's armies. Receiving a transmission. Praise the gods. Artemis, you live. Matriarch Vorazun, what has happened here? Shakuras has fallen. The warp gate linking this world to Ire has been reopened. Countless hybrid and Zerg pour from the other side. They've obliterated our cities, decimated our Shadow Guard. We are trying to evacuate the remaining population, but I am uncertain whether we can hold long enough to get them safely away. We will give you the time you need, Matriarch. My Templar are inbound. My Dark Templar were tracking your invasion on Io when we were cut off. Then the warp gate opened. What happened, Artanis? Amon used the Kala to seize control of the Templar. I could feel his rage tearing through me, and I was powerless against it. Zeratul found me. It was there that he... He... Yes? He tried to free me. And he succeeded at the cost of his own life. He fell by my hand. It was Amon's deed, not yours. Zeratul came to me with a warning, but I did not act. Because of this, he is now gone, and the stars burn dimmer for his loss. Amon's deed or not, I carry a burden, Matriarch. One that cannot be easily lifted. A preserver? Released from stasis? She still bears her nerve cords. 
She's tethered to the caller. Hold. I am Rohana, Grand Preserver of the Valari, and your War Council Advisor. You must be the Executor in Command. You are not possessed by the Dark One. How is this possible? I feel darkness lingering at the edges of my every thought. But I am not corrupted. Preservers of my station have trained to control the Kala's every ripple. I assure you, I will stave off this evil and serve you better by doing so. As all Preservers, I hold the memories and personalities of Protoss prior to my submission to Stasis. This will allow me to contrast your tactical decisions with those of past Executors. From this chamber, you will be able to make all military allocations. I am Artanis, Hierarch of the Daylong. I lead all that is left of our civilization. Your memories are indeed of use, Rohana. But make no mistake, if you fall to this corruption, I will not hesitate to destroy you. It is understood. I am prepared for the Firstborn's darkest hour. Come, let me show you what may be done here. I have heard only tales of the Grand Preservers. I did not expect to encounter one aboard this vessel. That is not surprising, Hierarch. My sisters and I are unique, trained from birth to master every intricacy of the Kala. I have experienced its true depth, plunged the infinite spectrum of emotion and memory. It is because of this gift we were selected to enter stasis, so that we may guide you in our most dire hour. Your sisters were aboard the other Ark ships? Then they... Are one with the Kala. Fallen during the Zerg invasion of Ire. I know this. I feel the tragedy that has befallen us more deeply than you may realize. A terrible burden has been laid upon you, Rohana. Yet it is my fate to bear it. A fate foreseen by the same minds that constructed this vessel. I trust in their wisdom, Hierarch. I will serve my purpose, much as you must serve yours. Shakura's teams with Amon's Zerg broods. We hold only the southwest quadrant of Ptolemetros, and even that is in peril. We must evacuate our people, but the launch bays have been defiled with infestation. Only ground forces can clear them. Once the bays are free, the planetary warp conduit will allow our ships to escape safely. The launch bays will be cleared. Your people will survive, Matriarch. This I swear. Artanis, I'm detecting a rift opening near your position. Avoid Thrasher. By the gods, it's sieging the warp conduit. Karax, are any of the Spear of Adun's weapon systems ready for use? Orbital strike is online. Designating targets. Thrasher has been weakened. Warriors, move in and seal its fate! The Thrasher is slain, but it will be for naught if the launch bays remain infested. We have secured a second launch bay. Well done. Half of the bays are launching evacuation ships. The launch bays have been reclaimed. Matriarch, you may complete the evacuation. You have saved my people, Artanis, and they will never forget it. Despite this tragedy, I am pleased to see you once more, Hierarch. I had hoped that our next interaction would be your announcement of Ayer's reclamation. As did I. Instead, the Templar have fallen. Then the threat is greater than I realized. 
we cannot let the same fate befall Shakuras. It is too late for that. Amon Zerg poured through the warp gate as a tide of flesh and blade. They have already overrun Telemetros and are nearing the shrines of Lazul. This world is lost. With such an infestation, Shakuras must be destroyed. Destroy Shakuras? I will not permit this. Permit? Shakuras was my people's home long before we offered your sanctuary upon it. I will not let this world be a den for Amon's forces. Worlds may fall to ash. What matters is that we endure. To lose Shakuras and Aya. We are a vagabond people, Artanis. Our true home has always been Ire. Let us reclaim it together. It is fitting that the daughter of Raja Gaul decides the fate of the world she helped forge. Let us make preparations at once. Of all the Templar, you never wavered in the belief that our two peoples could live in unity. It is something I admired in you. It is ironic to hear you say this. All this time, I believed you were reluctant to accept the unity I sought. You and I had many a disagreement in the Twilight Council. For day by day, I saw my people losing what they were. I saw our precious old ways erode. You wished to preserve them. I am Nerezim, Dark Templar. I hold great pride in my people. But you are also Protoss. That is the greater affiliation. That is not what the Conclave believed when we were exiled long ago. Your kind had ire. Our culture is all we ever had. All this time, this wretched little world was within striking distance of our fleets. Much has changed since your era, Preserver. The Dark Templar are now our allies. There was a time when the Protoss were broken. Throughout the Aeon of Strife, we tore at each other with wanton abandon. Only one path was ever found to end the madness and unify our people. The Kala. The Dark Ones rejected its light. They denied their own race. How can you fight for them? For one so sworn to preserve our history, Rohana, how can you be so blind to its turn? I... I see I have offended you, Hierarch. My apologies. Adapting to this period is... Difficult. The Solar Matrix Core. Truly an impressive sight. A synthetic star. I imagine what went into its creation. This chamber provides power to the Spear of Adun and all its systems. Its radiance even contributes nourishment for our warriors. How long until you can bring its tactical systems online? System analysis has begun, but the star is laying dormant for an eon. It will take time, and a powerful ignition catalyst like Solarite to restore it to full capacity. Solarite? The Firstborn haven't utilized Solarite in millennia. This vessel is ancient, Hierarch. We will need to exhaust even unconventional resources if we are to bring it to bear. Do what you can, Faith Smith. We will acquire what you need. Very well. You may begin augmenting the Solar Core whenever you are ready. This was not an easy decision. But I would rather see Shakuras destroyed than overwhelmed by Amon Zerg. We have much to plan, Hierarch. How will we bring destruction to your world? The Zelnaga Temple's phase prism can be overloaded, forcing a spike of energy into the planet's core. Enough of a charge, and the planet will shatter. Amon will not possess my world. I have been thinking about this choice. Are you reconsidering? No. My time here has reminded me of the courage of your people. That we must fight. If we are to suffer, then so too will Amon. 
We will lure as many of Amon's hybrid and Zerg through the gateway as we can. Only once enough are through to wound him, will we overload the temple and flee. You mean to bleed him? Bold, but we can't risk the forces it would require to do such a thing. Leave that to me, Matriarch. I have learned much from the Dark Templar. Forces have secured the Zalnaga Temple Grounds. Artemis, how go your preparations? I am configuring the temple now, but without the Uraj and the Kallus, it will take time. Time is not all it will take. The temple's energies are regulated by three Zenith Stones. Only once they are destroyed can the temple be overloaded. Until then, we must defend it from the Zerg and their hybrid masters. The Nerazim have long used Kaderan monoliths to protect our lands. I see your face myth has become familiar with them. Indeed, Matriarch. The monoliths are quite deadly and fire a considerable distance. They should prove instrumental in our defense. The moment has come. Let us begin. Artanis, our observers are reporting a vast number of Zerg have poured onto Shakuris. And yet, not a single hybrid. Amon is testing our resolve. Curious. There are overlords closing on the temple grounds. I have seen this tactic before. They are transporting ground forces. Destroy the overlords. Quickly. Our readouts indicate there are nearly half a billion Zerg on Shakuris. All of them moving for this temple. Let them come. The Templar will endure. The Master's gaze falls on your shadow. World. By the gods, I have never seen such abomination. Warriors, focus all cannons on the hybrid. We must defend the temple. Hyrak, I... I have never borne witness to so many Zerg. Was this the threat my mother once faced? No, Matriarch. This threat is a far greater one, and it will take all we have to resist it. The moment approaches, warriors. The temple is realigning. It will be ready soon. Hierarch, I have discovered a solarite cache beneath the Zelnaga temple. If we can hold longer, I should be able to retrieve it. Begin the retrieval process, Karax. We will hold the temple as long as we can. Templar, initiate dimensional recall. Get to safety, now! Ninus worms. The Zerg are poised to breach the temple. Have faith, Matriarch. Your fallen people cry out for vengeance, and they shall have it.
action. Choose the mantle of Dark Templar. Shakuris is gone. It has become one with the Eternal Night. But the traditions we forge there will remain with us forever. Is that still possible, Matriarch? More so than you may realize. What do you know of the Shadow Walk, Artanis? Little. Your people closely guard their customs. It is our most sacred rite of passage. The Initiate stands alone. Members of her tribe strike against her from the shadows. If she endures, she becomes a Shadow Hunter, true Dark Templar. Why do you speak of this? You stood alone, as Dark Templar, against countless enemies, risking your life for the many. You have walked as we have. You have walked the Shadow Path already, Artanis. You no longer have the Kala. You are Dark Templar. The Nerezim fought valiantly beside us, even unto the destruction of their world. Why? Their homeworld has always been Ire. They have never forgotten it, or the sacrifice that delivered them to safety. You speak of Adun, so saith Judicator Zentheon. Adun failed to eradicate the rogue tribes, those who call themselves the Dark Templar. We witnessed the burst of the Twilight Star. In that treasonous instant, Adun ushered the heretics and himself to fate, purifying ire of their taint, but allowing them life. Treason? Adun chose mercy rather than committing genocide. This was a noble act, Preserver. Was it? I see history through the eyes of those who lived it, Artanis. Perhaps this is why you are blind to all that is before you. History's truths are only ever understood looking through the backwards lens, seeing its consequences take root. As a preserver, I have always experienced history as a living, breathing now, as those who experienced it in the moment did. Perhaps I should consider the way you view it. First Ire, and now Shakuras. All that we have held dear is crumbling around us. Despite this, we must press on. The Terrans of Korhal have in their possession the Zelnaga Keystone, which Zeratul foresaw would lead to our salvation. Though I have not seen Commander Raynor in many solar returns, I believe he will give the Keystone to us. Commander James Raynor. Artanis? There. Ain't you a sight for sore eyes? Friend Raynor, you seem rather occupied. Just another day at the office. Who are these insurgents? Call themselves Mobius Corps, an elite guard that used to work for Dr. Narud. They've been striking worlds throughout the sector, leaving few survivors. Each world attacked reported hybridly. Then truly, no world is beyond Amon's reach. Reinforce those bulkheads. Reposition the Mark 7 Alpha. We need to form a battle line. They've overrun Sky Shield, our orbital defense platform. Looks like they've destroyed its atmospheric stabilizers. It's fallen fast. If it crashes, it'll obliterate August Grand. We will ensure that does not happen, Commander. Engage their fleet, and keep their assault at bay. Like old times, buddy. Like old times. This ain't good. 
Sky Shield's not gonna last much longer. At this rate, we've got maybe ten minutes left till it lands smack dab on our capital. Your suspicions were correct, Commander. Mobius Core is disabling the platform's atmospheric stabilizers as we speak. The damage appears repairable, Hierarch. Yeah, assuming Mobius Core leaves anything left to repair. Artanis, if you can clear out those troops, my boys can patch up those stabilizers. That should buy us some extra time. We must move quickly. It will take the combined power of all five stabilizers to halt the platform's descent. Mobius Corps is mobilizing an attack against our Nexus Point. Rally our defenses. Revising durability estimates. Nice work. Got a repair crew inbound. Man, you're sure pissing Mobius Corps off. A lot of troops guarding the stabilizers. Make sure you got enough forces to engage. Durability calculations updated. Only one stabilizer still remains in enemy hands. We must make haste. Friend Raynor, Sky Shield has been stabilized, and Mobius Corps is retreating. Admiral Horner will take control of the station from here. You gotta say, I owe you big time for this one, partner. That's a hell of a thing your boys did, Artanis. Sky Shield is back online. We're about to call down the cavalry. We will join you on the surface and extract the Keystone. I got some bad news for you. Seems our friends below had the same idea. While we were fighting to get planet side, the Imperial Palace was raided. Security data indicates the Keystone was taken. My mama used to have a saying, when it rains, it floods. I am uncertain as to how this saying is helpful, friend Raynor. <laughs> Me either. Wait a minute. I'm getting intel. A Mobius Corps evac team is headed toward Bennett Port. They got the Keystone. We shall not let them escape. It's looking bad, Artanis. A lot of dead people down there. We gotta take these bastards out. What could have led these Terrans to come under Amon's thrall? They were assigned to some top secret details, running security at Dr. Narud's hybrid research labs. After Valerian re-established the government, the Mobius Foundation went dark. Last transmissions were chaotic. Crazed. Next thing we know, the attack started. The Naaman has turned them into his slaves. An army. They are dangerous, but they are only the start of the war to come. You always were the optimistic sort. Welcome to Bennett Port. At least what's left of it. Mobius Corps entrenched themselves here to keep us from the artifact. Valerian's setting up his base now. Once he gets... Ah! Raynor! What is happening? The hybrid are channeling void energy into the Keystone. The resulting psionic disruption has overwhelmed the Terrans. Deploy our immortals! We need heavy assault to protect these Terrans until the disruption subsides. Man, that's two I owe you, Artanis. Felt like I was losing my damn mind. The Keystone is recharging, Commander. They will surely activate it again soon. We must reclaim it. You ain't kidding. Let's lock and load, partner. All right. My boys are taking this fight to Mobius Corps. And once you got your defenses in place, bring the heat. This disruption has hit my forces hard. We've taken heavy casualties, and we're going to need more time to establish our fortifications. Do what you can to keep them at bay. Already on it. Your position will be secure till they fire off that keystone again. Another disruption will occur soon. Remember, we can use this time to protect our allies from the hybrid, or attack Mobius Corps. We have survived the hybrid's assault. Continue onward, warriors. Damn, that's one hell of a headache. Thanks for the help, Artanis. Our enemies have ceased their assault. We must press on until we reach the Keystone. Well, that did it. We pushed Mobius Corps back. Damn. Look at this place. 
Even the Zerg didn't tear into the city like this. This warrior? No. But I know his story. I know all their stories. None of them ever think it'll end like this. Reports been coming in from all over. Dominion worlds overrun. Outposts destroyed. A lot more dead boys out there. Warriors. Death is the fate of all warriors. A fate we too may soon embrace. Fate ain't written, Artanis. The way I see it, if Zeratul believed you could make a difference in all this, then this fight's just begun. It is your custom to shake the hand of a friend, is it not? I will keep him at bay. I will 
Endure. I have felt his rage, seen his truth. If you will not sever your connection to the Kala, then you will be contained, kept in stasis. I will preserve the Kala however I must. If I must endure imprisonment, so be it. Look here, Hierarch. This material self-regenerates. It is no wonder the research of the Terrans claimed it to be from a recent epoch. My projections place it at several billion years old, if not more. Zeratul's vision said that this keystone can guide us unto hope. What do you think it means? Yes, guide us. It is a code wanting to be cracked. The keystone seems to be able to manipulate energies. But that may not be its sole purpose. I believe it stores its origin point within. Its origin point? Yes, I promise you. I will find out how this will lead us to the Zelnaga. Redouble your efforts, Karax. There is little time. Amon's reach extends further than I ever imagined. This war has only begun. It is one that will test our every limit. Zeratul believed that the Zelnaga lived, and that they would aid us. I have heard his prophecies as well. It is said that the Zelnaga come from a world that exists where none should. From there, all life in our universe takes its root. Our forebearers searched for it, but nothing beyond legend was ever found. And you? Do you believe as Zeratul did? Zeratul killed my mother, Artanis. I will always hate him for this. I will always hold him in the highest contempt. Raja Gaul was corrupted by the Queen of Blades, Matriarch. Yes, I know that now. Reason has no bearing on emotion. Our kind embraces this more than yours. Zeratul grieved for her as well. His sense of guilt drove him to uncover the ancient prophecies, to find hope for our people. You will forgive me if I do not place my faith in the words of an exile. Uh, hey there, your royal ness. Man, this is weird. I've never talked to no Protoss before. <laughs> hey. If I have learned one thing from your commander, Raynor, it is that we are not so different, Rory Swan. Continue your report. Right. So, the artifact, uh, the, uh, the keystone thingy's all yours. We're in the middle of transmitting all our data to your engineer. You have my thanks. Please relay my appreciation to Commander Raynor. Hey, you got it, Skippy. Skippy? Zeratul, old friend. I have the keystone you believed would lead to our salvation. And yet, faith alone will not defeat Amon. As Hierarch, I was made aware of a location where our Kalai scientists experimented on new weaponry in secret. Within the Glacius facility, the Purifier program has been reborn. We must recover this immensely powerful technology. Glacius facility. Within lies the greatest weaponry the Empire ever developed. It is the site of the Purifier Revival Program. Purifiers? The Forbidden Weapon? They were sealed away by the Conclave, never to be restored. The ancient Purifiers are not kept here, Preserver. They are still locked away. Here, on Glacius, our researchers have been developing prototype weaponry inspired by that ancient technology. You speak above your caste, Kalai. This is unimaginable heresy. We are outmatched by Amon's forces and facing annihilation. If this technology may help us, we will use it. Servants, ready our warriors. The purifier.
purifier weaponry that has been researched here could prove to be a valuable addition to our arsenal. That is what I am hoping. Is there any merit to Rohana's fears? The Kalai on Glacius have prototyped the technology with successful results. It is said that these experimentations are no different than the Templar they are replications of. A byproduct of quantum predictive analytics. They were and are still only machines. Do not give them such credence, Karax. We too are machines of a biological nature. I often marvel at the architecture, the design, the careful construction of our form, our machinery. The Zelnaga forged us as we forged the original purifiers. Hierarch, the Taldarim are unleashing their mothership's phase displacement beam against Glacius's orbital defenses. I am First Ascendant Alarak, and I've been charged with destroying this facility. You seek the technology vault, but you are too late. It will be annihilated along with the rest of this pathetic world. Use your time to withdraw from the system, or remain here and watch your forces burn to ash. I care little which you choose. He is not entirely correct. If we begin now, our forces could outpace the displacement beam. Then we are going in! The displacement beam is advancing. We must reach the vault before it is destroyed. Our forces are near the displacement beam. We must remain alert and stay out of its range. Hierarch, I'm detecting movement from the Taldarine fleet. Multiple transport signatures inbound on the facility. War prisms. Clever. Alarak is activating the facility's old defenses, using them against us. Acquiring access. Work quickly, Faye Smith. Focus the disruptor on their location. Let them burn. I have its coordinates. Warping aboard the container now. You are not as weak as you appear, Artanis. We shall meet again. The purifier weaponry is safely aboard the Spear of a Dune. Wait. There is a prototype warrior here as well. I will have to examine it more closely. You wish to see me, Faye Smith. Artanis, it is good to see you, young executor. Phoenix? How... How can this be? It was his cloned personality that was used for the purifier prototype. Given your friendship with the source personality, I thought, well, he believes he was brought from stasis and made a dragoon. Why are you here, Phoenix? I was given a directive by Ogdaris himself to come to Glacius and serve the Templar. It is the last recollection from his memory web. The Great Templar were still encoded by order of the Conclave. Do you know about the experimentation done on Glacius? Why Aldaris gave you this order? I am a warrior, old friend. You know this as well as any. It is not my place to question the order of adjudicator. This construction is highly advanced. An Adanium shell composed of a Trillic compression mesh. It appears he was to be the first in a revival of the ancient program. Enough! I have fought far too long for the wheel of the Conclave to be examined like some specimen. I am Templar, and I am reunited with the dearest of friends. Is this not a glorious day? You are right, of course. Karax, these tests are no longer needed. Phoenix, welcome aboard the Spear of Adun. You and I have stood shoulder to shoulder, blades thrumming in the heat of battle countless times, and now you lead the Protoss. I well with pride at the mere thought of it. 
I was chosen to represent the hierarchy by the remaining Judicators and the clans of the Nerezim. I am still honored by their choice. Tassadar must be proud as well. Tassadar is gone, Phoenix. He fell, bravely sacrificing for his people. He saved us from annihilation. What? It... it cannot be. And... I... fallen to the Zerg as well? It has. How long have I lingered in stasis, becoming this... Dragoon? Do you know of the Purifier program, Phoenix? Of course. The greatest Templar minds replicated. Dangerous machines that had to be shut down. They were shut down, but we have never ceased the research, and still have tried to find ways to replicate our greatest Templar, to use that ancient technology. Why do you tell me this? I... I... We are facing a war like none we have seen before. We will need you in the days ahead. Maybe even the purifiers. Then my blades are yours, old friend. These new purifier designs rival any technology our people have previously conceived. The replication data is the sort that allows accurate duplication of one's consciousness. Phoenix's personality may be accurate. How accurate? Within the 99th percentile. So there is a chance for discrepancy. Quite a minuscule one. And in a lifetime, how many choices does that variation impact? Who would you be with such a difference in the decisions you've made? Keep a watchful eye on Phoenix. If he is to help us, I want to know who he is. Seeing Phoenix once more perplexes me. I feel sadness, but I should feel joy. It is said the warrior Phoenix was felled by the Queen of Glades. This approximation is not Phoenix. But he is a reminder of the loss you suffered. His voice, thoughts, his very presence. He describes memories we shared with such vivid recollection. Every instinct I have tells me that this is my friend. But all logic defies it. We of the Nerezim often ponder whether our people are the sum total of their experiences, or are more than them. A truth lingering inside us. In time, we shall see if this phoenix has his own truth, or is little more than a flawed forgery. Hierarch, I see the master construction of the Zelnaga now. Their understanding that energy, essence, and information are all one. Each interchangeable, each mutable. Then you uncovered the information Zeratul foresaw within this keystone. I have. From what I understand, it will lead us to Ulnar. Ulnar? It is a place of myth. A realm whispered of in our legends. The homeworld of the Zelnaga. I believe the Keystone can project its location. Show me, Karax. within such unrelenting forces. It appears I have failed you, Hierarch. I do not believe so, Karax. It is said that the Zelnaga came from a place where no life should be. This aligns with Zeratul's prophecies. We will go in. Make preparations at once. Zeratul, many thought you mad. And yet, once more... You have seen truer than us all. The Keystone leads us into the Altarian Rift, to the Zelnaga home of Ulnar. 
It is my destiny to carry your mantle, old friend. I will wake the Zelnaga and honor your legacy. Zelnaga. The Judicators theorized the Zelnaga left Ayr to return to a place such as this. It is said they slumbered through the ages. Zeratul believed the artifact would lead us unto hope. The Zelnaga may be the hope he spoke of. If the legends are true, then the Zelnaga are below, awaiting their children to awaken them. Then let us hope so. Here lies the resting place of the Zelnaga. We must find a way to unseal this access way if we are to awaken them. Rent Preserver, what do you know of the temple in the depths below? Only myth, legend. Here upon Ulnar, the destined races will seek ascension. Their very presence shall open the way forward. I believe these celestial locks are the key. Our forces should claim them in the hopes the way forward presents itself. Hyrock, the Taldorim are here. They are taking control of the Celestial Locks. The voices' demands are clear. Keep the temple sealed. As long as they control the locks, the secrets of the temple from us. Warriors, engage the enemy and reclaim the locks. Amon will not have his victory so easily. Once Amon's forces have been defeated, our warrior's presence should allow us to lay claim to the lock. The lock is now ours. These energy patterns indicate once we control the other four, the temple will open. Be on guard. Amon's servants are moving to seize a lock. I am detecting another lock in enemy hands. Amon's forces are in a defensive position. All five locks have been captured, Hierarch. The access way is opening. It seems Amon's forces have drawn back. I sense only a great stillness from within the temple. Then we have succeeded. It will not be long before we see what fate has in store for us. Not your enemy. 
I have come seeking the Zelnog. place, the Temple of Unification. The Zelnaga are somewhere within. So far all I've encountered are hybrid. I've been fighting them for days. Progress has been... difficult. The prophecies foretell of two ascended races, working together to seek out the halls of revelation within the temple. Only with both present will the shrines reveal the means to awaken the slumbering Zelnaga. I've never cared much for prophecy. And yet, despite our history, here we stand, together. Perhaps you should start. Halt! Do you sense that? A great power awakens within this construct. Purity of form. Purity of essence. Prove your strength. Stay close to me, Kerrigan. My psionic abilities can mend our wounds. So the constructs hold the keys. Good to know. Let us proceed. Fate is with us. The shrine still functions. There. It gathers power. It should be active shortly. Friends of yours? Not quite. It appears Amon's forces have found a way into the temple. We must slay them all. I think I'm starting to like you, Artanis. I... I see now. The Zelnaga were the first. Born within the void. Their sacred purpose was to cultivate life and perpetuate the infinite cycle. At a new universe's creation, they take a physical form. If destroyed, they are thrust back into the void. All of this time, they have waited for us to assemble the Keystone and find our way here. my people, possessing them through the Kala. But he has no physical form. If he were separated from the Templar, he could be forced back into the Void. Come on, Artanis. We've still got a long way to go. Let's go. It won't be long until our enemy pushes further into the Temple. It seems you were correct. Well then, shall we? Honor shall serve as your tomb. The Taldarim are breaching into the Hall of Revelation. Ready your blades, Templar. Looks like we've earned a breather. 
You're up, Artanis. The shrines look like they're covered with pictograms. How do you know what they say? Communing with the shrine is more than reading carvings. Each atom of the stone has been placed with meaning. Purpose. It was here, from Alnar, that the Zelnaga began to seed the universe with life. They created us just as they gave life to a numberless assembly of races in other universes. Every time, they observe and identify the potential of their offspring, never interfering. The infinite cycle will always be the same. Two races are destined to emerge. One pure of essence, an indomitable spirit capable of great change, and one pure of form, a being capable of vast psionic potential, able to house the essence of a Zelnaga. Purity of essence and form, the Zerg and the Protoss. But if the Zelnaga do not interfere, then it was Amon who uplifted my people. All we thought was the Zelnaga was a lie. Come on, Artanis. We're not far from having some answers. I believe this must be the final hall. Wait. The doors are open. The constructs destroyed. The shrine is under attack! This can only be the work of Avon. We delay no longer. Our salvation will not be stolen from us. The Dark God has foreseen your death, Kerrigan. We shall deliver you to it. By blood and fire, we shall be reborn! These people are maniacs. Our destiny awaits us. For Zeratul! For Aya! Done. Do your shrine thing, Artanis. These gods of yours have a lot to answer for. Ahead of us, within the Chamber of Ascension, the Zelnaga have slumbered as civilizations grew fell, and formed again. They will awaken when the two destined races arrive. Then, the elders among them will give their lives to bestow their essence. And pure of form and pure of essence will be reborn as Zelnaga, shepherds of the infinite cycle. So, what do you say? Ready to meet your maker? Indeed. Come. The Chamber of Ascension lies ahead, and our salvation within.
easily broken, Amon. The firstborn shall fear you no longer! Matriarch, there is a massive output of void energy spiking from the temple below. Target the epicenter. <laughs> Us fools? Yes, but that is irrelevant. What is relevant is that Amon has opened the gateway to the void. Dark energies pour from within, and they will burn through your precious leader and any who oppose Amon. I can guide you to Artanas before this fate befalls him. If we are bold, we can stop the Dark God's assault. Am I to believe that the moment you're released, your blade will not be in my back? You waste time. Lower your blades. I am Alarak, first descendant of the Taldarim. Amon has betrayed my people. Retribution will be claimed for this, and if your hierarch survives, he will aid in it. Make your decision. You will take us to Artanis. Most wise. Matriarch, the Keystone has begun absorbing void energies at an unprecedented rate. Then this Taldoreen speaks the truth. Void energies flood from the temple. With each passing moment, the threat grows. I do not trust him, but all data points to the scenario he describes. A gateway to the Void has been opened. Is there any way to pinpoint Artanis? No. The energies are making us virtually blind. We must put our faith in this Taldarim. It pains me to do so. Rohana! Rohana! You sought a and now you have found it. The cradle of life. Both your beginning and your end. Release her, Amon. Do you seek deliverance within these empty halls? You'll find none here. Only the truth of the Zelnaga's failure. Let her Go! I offer a gift. Release in oblivion. Silence! <laughs> <laughs> This path will lead your forces to Artanis. I have done as I promised, Dark Templar. Now go tell your Hierarch. I am waiting for him. Matriarch, our High Templar have volunteered to aid you. The loss of the Kala was not easily borne. But we are ready to serve once again. Templar, I thank you for your bravery in this dire time. We will recover our Hierarch. Vorazun, your forces have arrived just in time. Amon has opened a portal to the Void. It must be shut down before it tears us apart. 
Agreed. My swarm and I will bear the brunt of Amon's power and buy you time. But it's up to you to seal that portal. The gateway draws power from these void crystals. We will need to destroy them if we are to seal the gate. Then it shall be done. The darkness is approaching my hive cluster, Artanis. I hope you're getting ready to disable those crystals. I'll continue sending as many Zerg as I can spare to help you. Fight well, Templar. My swarm moves against the crystal. Join us, Artanis. The crystal's defenders have fallen. Move in and destroy it. Two crystals destroyed. I suspect Amon's forces will not let us take the next two so easily. Hybrid are moving to attack our Nexus Point. Ready our defenses. My forces and I move against a crystal. Thought I might extend an invite your way. Only one remains, and the portal is growing unstable. We must destroy the final crystal, and do so with haste. Hybrid inbound on our Nexus Point. Warriors, intercept them! Artanis, I am withdrawing to my Hive Cluster. I need some time to reconstitute my forces. The final crystal has been secured. Destroy it, and victory is ours! Let this be a reckoning. From this point forward, we stand united. We shall turn back the tide of Amon's darkness! We fought well this day, Kerrigan. Join us. Together, we can defeat Amon and send him back into the void. My swarm was broken here, Artanis. I'll need time to rebuild my forces. There is no time. My people are being consumed. Their very flesh turned into Amon's own. I cannot wait. Then you must do as I have. Gather allies, subjugate enemies, do whatever you can to ensure victory. Survival is never pretty. We are very different leaders, but I thank you nonetheless. Until we meet again. Artanis, Hierarch of the Twilight Council, Warlord of the Templar. I had expected so much more. Arrogance! Watch your words, or my bleed will watch them for you. Oh, that's hardly a way to speak of one who saved your master's life. You care little for my survival, Alarak. What is the true reason you've come to me? Our god broke his ancient covenant and cast us low. These are lies, Artanis. I am the liar. Are you not but a lie incarnate machine, Prototh? Speak your peace, Alarak. The Taldarim's death fleet amasses at slain, awaiting the start of a full-scale invasion. I come with an offer. You will aid me in invoking a challenge for the right to rule my kind as High Lord. And in return, I will grant you a cessation of hostilities between our people. Phoenix, rally my advisors. It appears we have much to discuss. Nothing was as it seemed. We came to Alnar to awaken the Zelnaga and receive their aid. Instead, Amon nearly killed us. I fear Zeratul's prophecy is no longer clear to me. He was closer to the truth than I thought. The Zelnaga did rest here. Had they lived, I think they would have given us their aid, just as Zeratul said. If nothing else, I will grant him that. Matriarch, your words surprise me. Perhaps your counsel has proved influential in some regards. Then I will endeavor to give you more of it. I said some regards, Hierarch. Not all. Rohana, do you not see why you must sever your nerve cords? I cannot allow you to fall under Amon's sway again. The collar was created in our darkest moment. 
only its light was able to bind our people, to give us unity. We are born into it, and when we die, our spirits become one with it. It is worth fighting for. And now Amon uses it against us. It sustains his existence. Its time must end. Artanis, through the Kala, our every thought and emotion are made as one. I feel his thoughts and emotions swirling like a vortex throughout. He does not realize it, but here, within the Kala, he is vulnerable. How? Just as he can see into me, I can see into him. We can use this to our advantage, Hierarch. I know it. It is not worth it. Please, I only ask for time. Hierarch, I believe I have found a way to save our people. As Zeratul foresaw, this keystone can indeed be our salvation. Explain yourself. As we have seen, the keystone was designed to be found and assembled by those who would ascend to become Zelnaga. After leading them to Ulnar, it would also expel its stored energy to awaken the slumbering Zelnaga. The keystone siphons energies and redistributes essence, matter, information, consciousness. To this device, they are all the same. I see that now. This is how it cleansed Kerrigan? It extracted the essence that forged her into the Queen of Blades. Then it used that energy to release Amon from the Void. If I can discover how to control the Keystone, we could use it to extract Amon from the Kala and save our people. Then Zeratul has led us to hope after all. Continue your research, Kerax. We have a war to take to Amon. You were right all along, Hierarch. I am little more than a clone of your friend, Phoenix. The Calderim speaks truth. I am synthetic, a replication, a lie. What did you find in the Archive? My death, my rebirth as a Dragoon. And then, my death at the hands of this Queen of Blades. I am not Phoenix, yet I hold his memories as if they were my own. I must have time to consider this. You are a warrior, Phoenix. Whether you identify yourself as my old friend or not, know that I believe in you. And I believe you will help me destroy Amon's armies and save our people. Do not waver because of this knowledge. I will try, Hierarch. You must know Amon will destroy you. If you have such faith in him, why are you here? Oh, I merely voice the inevitable. I know the true power of what you face. I said destroy you, not I. I have seen enough. His hubris will be his undoing. It is a flaw I also see in you. <laughs> I believe I like you, Hierarch. Your bravery is commendable. Join me then. Together, we can defeat him. I cannot tether my fate to yours. Hatred does not burn within you as it does in me. You do not see through the agony of knowing all you believed in is a lie, and that your only solace is found in the destruction of your betrayer. No. Amon corrupted my people, and now turns them into a hybrid abomination. My rage burns brighter than a thousand suns, and soon all will see my wrath unleashed. Then this is something I hope to witness. The Void Portal within Ulnar has been sealed, but a greater threat looms. Amon is transforming our people into a host form. While we were focused upon Ulnar, he has unleashed the full might of the Golden Armada, using our own weaponry to eradicate life from planets across the Caprulu Sector. 
Our current forces are not powerful enough to engage the Great Fleet. But Amon's other servants run rampant across the sector. Then we should strike immediately. Eliminate his outlying forces. The ancient purifiers were designed for war. If we reactivate them, we can build our armies and destroy Amon's Zergroods in one fell swoop. Assuming they do not turn on us first, the purifiers possess no loyalty, no honor. You waste time bickering. The Tal'Darim's death fleets are your threat. I alone can challenge Malash for the right to rule and bend his army to my will. Do not forget Mobius Corps. They are rumored to operate from a hidden base where they forge a hybrid army to serve, even now. This is true, but we cannot engage them without knowing where they are. Vorazun, send your most elite Dark Templar to scour the sector. For now, Karax, your focus must remain with the Keystone. The survival of our people depends on our actions in the days to come. It falls to the Firstborn to stop the coming Oblivion. Siding with Alarak is indeed a risk. Tassadar, old friend, what would you do? Zeratul, would you have me take such a chance? The answer matters little. If this alliance can weaken Amon's armies, then it is a chance that must be taken. It is an armada. Behold the Death Fleet under Amon's command. Poised on laying waste to all life in the sector. Then we had best act swiftly. Rakshir, usurpation by ritual combat cannot be rushed. Its rights demand careful preparations if they are to be accepted. We are in orbit above a hostile world with an imposing fleet, and you speak of preparation? I intend to depose Malash, the ruler of an entire people, and bring them under my thrall. You will aid me, and in return, I will remove the Tal'Darim from this conflict. That was our bargain. To do this, the ritual must be carried out as tradition demands. This bargain grows less appealing by the moment. I've been analyzing the Tal'Darim's war machines. Their technology is cloned from Kali designs. Aside from the construction materials, there is little deviation. How is this feat possible? There have always been legends of vessels that set out into the cosmos and never returned. Of attack forces gone missing. I have heard these stories. Whispers of angry spirits of our past that strike when you are most vulnerable. Imagine if all this time, we have been fighting an unknown war against the Tal'Darim. It would explain a great deal. How sad. They are thieves, never knowing the joys of their own invention. How despicable. There are things I understand about the Tal'Darim. Their zeal. Their desire to appease their god. What I cannot understand is why Amon would cast aside his loyal allies so easily. Why he would betray their sacred trust and treat them as fodder. I have felt his grand ambitions, Artanis. The dark truth is, Amon wishes no allies aside from his hybrid. He believes he's ending the cycle of violence, but he only brings about an eternity of abomination. These are Malash's guardians. I need you to eliminate them before I proceed. If it must be done... Wait, what is that strange fog? Tarazine. It flows in cycles from the chasms of slain, bringing us closer to the void. Amon's forces will be able to manifest until the flow subsides. They do not possess their full power here, yet they will strike at your base ruthlessly. I 
thought you promised an assured victory, Alarak. You enjoy a challenge, do you not? Very well. My forces will pursue the Guardians while it is clear. When the Terrazine flows, we must endure the onslaught. The Terrazine will rise shortly, my warriors. Be vigilant. The veil between this world and the Void is lifting. Amon's forces will arrive soon. The Guardians stand watch over the Shrines. Kill them slowly and painfully. My people will fight with honor, even when we are fighting for you. But first, we must establish our defenses. Have you come to bear witness to the end? This shall not be our end, but a new beginning. You will stand against a god? Ah, another guardian has fallen. What a thrilling sight. If it is so thrilling, why not join us? Well, I must save my strength to face Malash, of course. You know little of Alarak, or you would not aid him. Oh, what glorious deaths. You do well to promote my cause, Arcanus. I only hope that is true. You go to your death, Alarak. The Dark God will destroy you! I have heard enough of his lies. Your ritual is complete. What now? Well, they were not part of the ritual, but these traitors would have aided Malash in it, and I wish to see them die. Now the time has come. High Lord, hear me! I invoke the right of Rakshir. Fight me according to our laws, or die a coward! We meet in combat at daybreak. You shall have your challenge. I am going to make this clear. The Templar are not a weapon you can wield as you wish. We are not here to slay your enemies under false pretenses. Deceive me again, and this alliance of ours comes to an end. Slaying Malash's guardians fulfilled more than one purpose. Once the High Lord lies dead at my feet, none will challenge my rule. After all these years, my victory is nearly at hand. I feel his concern on Tannis. He knows that I'm coming for him. Malash? No. Amon. Through the breath of creation, I peer beyond the veil. Oh, yes, I feel his rage washing over me. He knows I no longer fear him. He knows that the Talgarim have no color for him to control. I will turn the Chosen against him. Do not assume you are already victorious, Alarak. Do not let the Terrazine cloud your judgment. You have a battle to win first. The battle is already won. In my mind's eye, I have delivered the killing blow in a thousand ways. From my experience, overconfidence is your opponent's greatest ally. Do not let yours aid Malash. Spoken as one who welcomes defeat. This chain of ascension is a despicable practice. It is how the Kalai once thought of the Nerezim's Shadow Walk. There is no comparison. Our society was not founded upon... Their culture is one unyielding hierarchy, servant to master, a constant reinforcement of their bondage to Amon. But they have been lied to, Matriarch. And how could this change if it is all they have ever known? Our people once only knew hatred of one another. Suspicion. Yes. We viewed your practices as barbaric, and you viewed ours as cruel. It is the same with the Tal'Darim. With the destruction of Amon and the revelation of his betrayal, I expect their entire society to seek out who they truly are and what they wish to be. 
Kerax, the Keystone, it's reacting to void energies upon the planet's surface, most likely. I've seen this before on Ulnar. This Terezine must be directly linked to the Void. The Taldarim call it the Breath of Creation. They believe imbibing it allows them to speak directly to Amon. A far-fetched claim, yet I cannot deny its plausibility. The substance's properties appear to be foreign to our universe. Perhaps this is why it is so holy to them. They seek out planets rich in Terezine, and turn them into temples to their god. Our coming here may be a blessing to us. If the Keystone reacts to Terezine like it does with Void Energy, I may be able to use it to stress the artifact, determine its limits. Perhaps fate has not abandoned us completely. We must have faith. I prefer results, Hierarch. Amon is powerful in measures that eclipse even the Queen of Blades. There is no room for uncertainty. Malash has proven himself to be a dangerous leader. Indeed. That's why my victory shall be the sweetest of ecstasy. Has he defeated many in this rite? Countless. He ascended the chain with brutal wrath, plowing through all who opposed him. It's as if he were blessed by the Dark God. They called him the Blade of Amon. And still he was challenged? It is our way. He defeated each with lingering cruelty. Malash revels in bringing his challengers to the edge of death, and tormenting them for a time after. That does not comfort me, Alarak. Comfort is a myth. Given to younglings until they are ready for the trials and pain that is true existence. Leave me. It is time to make preparations. The darkness within calls for the blood of Malash. Now is the hour of my ascendance. The Rakshir commence! The rite of Rakshir has begun. From this moment, only Alarak and Malash are allowed to engage each other in combat directly. One must overpower the other and reach the pit of sacrifice. There, the victor will stand as the new leader of the Talgari, and the loser's life will be forfeit. They appear quite evenly matched. This is true. However, from what I have learned, Rakshir allows the champion's supplicants to support them psionically. Our warriors will be able to aid Alara, but likewise, the Taldarim can assist Malash. I will ready our forces. Malash will fight ruthlessly to hold on to his power. We must be prepared to do the same. Your psionic power courses through me. Move forward, slaves. Kill all who aid Malash! You would do well to remember that I command these warriors, Alarak, not you. A Taldarim attack force is inbound on our nexus point. Brothers, attack the firstborn directly! Hi, I am sensing hybrid. They come to aid Malash. Amon's Harbingers, join our struggle! Fight well, warriors, and you will also ascend into Hybrid! Oh, you lie with such conviction. It is almost admirable. Warriors, the Taldarim are moving against us from the upper pathway. Prepare our defenses! Taldarim, slaughter the firstborn, and your ascension will be assured. Confrontation draws to a close, Malash. Soon everyone will know the depth of your treachery. <laughs> Taldarim, by the right of Rakshir, I am your High Lord. Listen and obey. Malash. I promised you lies. There is no ascension. The Taldarim will never be uplifted and become hybrid. Amon betrayed us, and for this, he must die. Alarak, the Taldarim have yielded to my authority and the Death Fleet is now a 
under my command. I will use them both to avenge Imam's betrayal. Do your people believe in this cause, as you do? What they believe is of little consequence. What matters is that they obey. You choose to rule differently than I, Alarak. Despite this, we may not only end the violence between our kind, but forge a powerful alliance. Can we now? My people are vastly different than yours, Hierarch. We both desire vengeance, and we are both Protoss. Is that not enough? Oh, very well. Submit to my absolute authority, and we may indeed unite our forces. Do not test me, Taldarim. Amon is a mighty foe. Your people cannot hope to stand alone against him. You will side with me, and together we will send him back to the Abyss. <laughs> so you do understand my culture after all. Let us say that for now, we have struck another bargain. Artanis, you should know my fear of the Taldarim is not of them now, but what becomes of them if Amon is defeated. You fear they will never integrate with our society? They share our blood, but they are not like us. You know in your heart that may never change. It is true. A great battle may loom on the horizon ahead of us, but it's a risk we must take. It is a great risk. The dawn of a unified Protoss requires much. Like the threads of a cloth, we must come together and be stronger because of it. To think what we become with their culture influencing us. Changing us. Yes. We will be changed. And perhaps that is what you fear more than battle. The path ahead is uncharted, Matriarch. Amon's presence within the Kala grows stronger. He is becoming harder to resist. You risk much for this, Rohana. He believes all suffering, all conflict, results from the Zelnaga's infinite cycle. That it must end. Yes, he has made this clear. But you see only the surface. Underneath, a silent hatred roils within him. A prideful resentment that would see all worlds burn. The hybrid are the true face of Amon. He wishes not only for the Zelnaga's creations to be set aside, but for them to suffer. Do not think what has happened here will spare Alarak from my watchful eye. I did not expect it to. If he dares to betray us or takes any action against you, I promise his blood will coat these corridors. Good. That is what I am counting on. Have the Taldarim accepted the truth of Amon's betrayal? Some have. Others dare not question my commands. None wish to declare Rakshir upon you. Let them. No one can stand in the way of my vengeance. This grows tiring. We have done what we came to do. Set course for ire. And let us bring this war to Amon. Do not dare give me orders, Alarak. We will return to Ayr only when I believe the time is right. Let's hope that time comes soon. The Taldarim and Alarak have joined our fight, but we cannot strike against Ayr without an army. Phoenix and I believe that we can awaken the ancient purifiers and call upon their power. They may have been a forbidden weapon, but I have seen their potential in Phoenix, and know that this time, they will not fail us. What you plan to do is awaken monsters, Artemis. They slaughtered every Templar on the base of Lantanum. They rose against their masters. Our people never treated them as Templar. Because they are robots, created to do the bidding of the Conclave. Is this what you think of Phoenix? A robot whose only purpose is to do your bidding? He certainly defies expectations. He is... more. Perhaps the original Purifier robots will be too. If nothing else, think of their benefit to the war effort. That is, if they choose to join us. I believe in Phoenix. 
I am willing to take the risk. The Zerg posed quite a problem. Disrupting the stasis grid was never going to be easy. It certainly will be less so with Amon's brood attacking us. We will hold them off long enough for your work, Karax. The scientists sealed away Cybros with a device called the Megalith. It is the key to disabling the station's stasis lock. Once the grid is down, we have to act swiftly and bring Cybros online or flee orbit. The might of the brood below is too great. Leave the defense to me. Cyrus, the Vault of the Purifiers. It is fortunate that Avon's brood has been unable to penetrate its stasis grid. I now have access to Endion's records. Hmm. The stasis grid is sealed by complicated locking mechanisms. They can only be destabilized by a certain device. The Megalith. I'll begin recovering it now, so it may work on the locks. It will need protection. These forests already crawl with Zerg abominations. Then we shall clear them out. If I may, Hierarch, this facility once developed powerful weapons for the Empire. Ah, I have heard tale of the mighty Colossi, steam cliffs, besieging enemies from afar. Let us see how they fare against the Zerg. Well done. The area is secure. Warp coordinates for our Nexus Point are locked. Karax, activate the Megalith. Authorization in progress. The Megalith should be ready shortly, Hierarch. We will monitor its status and alert you when it is online. The Megalith systems will take a few moments to activate. It will be ready to move out soon. In the meantime, I've upgraded our robotics facilities to construct Colossi. You can warp them in whenever you wish, Hierarch. The Megalith has reached the first stasis lock. It will be safe below the surface as it does its work. I'm detecting Zerg movement. Warriors, ensure none reach our nexus point. The Megalith is almost done with this lock. I would advise you to make preparations for its next move. The Megalith has arrived safely at the second stasis lock. It shall be brought down shortly. The first power core has been secured. Warping it aboard now. I am detecting a large number of Zerg bioforms in the cave network ahead. We can use the terrain to our advantage. Topple the rock formations near the entrance and seal the Zerg within the caves. The third lock has been disabled and the Megalith is on the move. My readout shows Cybros beginning to awaken from stasis. Only two remain, Hierarch. There is an entire Zerg hive cluster between the Megalith and the last stasis lock. Our only option is to fight through it. The lock is down and the Megalith is traveling. Stasis grid at 20%. Wait. I'm detecting activity in the Zerg hive nearby. They're reinforcing the last lock. The final lock is destabilizing and the grid is down. We've done it. Cybros is free from stasis. Recall our forces from Endion's service. We take this battle to Cybros. I assume your plan is to bind these robotic warriors to your will. They will be allowed their freedom, much like Phoenix. Making slaves of them is what led to their revolt before. Oh, this foolish idealism taxes my patience. Idealism? They are the replications of our greatest champions. Was it so different when we gave your people freedom by breaking them away from Malash's grip? Only to deliver them to mine. I could not allow my people to be guided by Amon's lies any further. But make no mistake, they are not free. Freedom is a delusion granted to the weak by the strong. You speak as Amon does. For the sake of your life, that will change. 
instill the Phoenix machine as the new executor of the purifiers and use them as the tools of destruction they were built to be. Cyros will not be able to resist the Zerg for long. We should move quickly if we hope to save the purifiers. I require your honest counsel, Phoenix. Do you believe the purifiers will join us? I do not know. They may harbor rage, resentment for the actions of our forebears. The Daylom is not the Conclave. We are united in purpose, like never before. And that is why the Purifiers must be allowed to choose their fate for themselves. Without freedom, a people can be controlled, but never united. This is true, and yet, the Firstborn have ill need of another enemy. And I believe in you to not create one. Your actions determine the future for both the Templar and the Purifiers. But now is the time to act, Hierarch. You are right. The way forward may be difficult, but it is necessary. Thank you, my friend. The Zerg are truly as tenacious as the Archives claim. Their infestation already spreads across the surface. And Amon's hybrid has begun fortifying the hives. We must hope for the aid of the purifiers to win this battle. Indeed. According to the station schematics, Cybros's power architecture is divided into four distinct quadrants. Each is sealed by three null circuits. Destroying all of the circuits in a quadrant should restore its power, activating at least some of the purifiers. We will need to keep a watchful eye upon the core matrix. If the Zerg destroy it, Cyros falls as well. We should try to locate the Null Circuits as soon as it is safe to do so, Hierarch. Artanis, there are unpowered cannons placed near the core matrix. With enough fortification, this would be a defensible position. A Zerg force is preparing to move on the core matrix. Warriors, defend the core! I am Executor Kolarian. I address the leader of the Firstborn. Executor Clolarian, your deeds are taught to all Templar, even to this day. Cease your adjuration. Why do you seek the Purifiers? Brothers, you were created to protect the Empire, yet we did not treat you as you deserved, as true Templar. I implore you to forgive our ancestors' mistakes, to take up your ancient charge once more, and join us as equals. We will see if you speak truth. You will aid us in purifying this alien threat. Only then shall we discuss this further. Sentinels, advance upon the alien stronghold. Purify the invaders! The Zerg broods are reacting to our battle plan. They have begun guarding the Null Circuits. Hierarch, Cybros has reached full power, and the Purifiers are cleansing the station of the Zerg. Fight on, brothers! Slaughter them to the last! I've been disconnected from Cybros' systems. The core is activating. It's going to fire! Mularian, what are you... Commencing purification.
biosigns disappearing. The surface of Endion has been cleansed of life. It is over. Phoenix, contact the purifiers. I would speak to them. Executor Clolarian, you have awoken during the Firstborn's darkest hour. You have shown us that the Purifiers are a mighty force that could turn the tide of this war. I ask you now to honor your sacred charge as Templar and fight beside your brethren as you did before. You are no different than the Conclave. Once again, you try to control us. No. I wish to make amends for our past failures. I have fought battles alongside one of you. Phoenix, the one you are linked with. The Conclave feared your kind, but they are no more. I know you are true Templar. I have seen it. I ask that we stand as one, or none of us shall stand at all. I will counsel with the others. They are deliberating. If we are to follow, we would ask the Entity Phoenix to speak for us. There is much about this time we do not yet understand. But as long as you hold to your word, Hierarch, the Purifiers shall join the Firstborn. Are we finished wasting time? Or are there more pointless errands to attend to before we strike at Amon? The Purifiers will be a useful addition to our forces. I would hardly call this an errand. Yes, but as we already discussed, you chose to give them freedom, hoping that they will do as you command. Do not presume to lecture me about my decisions, Tal Darim. But I so enjoy our exchanges. Rohana! I can see it, Artanis. The truth Amon wishes to hide. While his brethren, the Zelnaga, slumbered through the millennia, Amon and his followers descended upon Ayr. And he uplifted our people. They ruled over us as teachers, as gods. He changed us, manipulated our essence. But we grew beyond his control. He and his followers fled to Zaris to create the Zerg. The hybrid, by the culmination of his efforts, false Zelnaga, created in his image. They... we must... Rohana, this is too dangerous. You cannot go on like this. I must, Hierarch. It is my duty to know the truth, to bear it. I know now, this is my purpose. We have achieved an incredible feat, friend Phoenix. Phoenix, I have been thinking more upon that name. It is the moniker of another. I do not believe I should use it any longer. I am not he. Phoenix was the bravest warrior I have ever known. He faced terrible odds and emerged victorious slayed enemies the likes of which most cannot even comprehend. And yet, you have proven to be of equal bravery. He would have been honored that a warrior such as you bore his name. And so am I. Your words honor me, Hierarch. But one day, I must find my own path and my own name. It brings me great joy that the Purifiers have chosen to join the Daylam. But Amon's armies are still a threat. Mobius Corps is overseeing Amon's hybrid production lab. I will not let this continue. We will go to Revenscar and destroy the station before Amon can create more of these abominations. Hierarch, as ordered. My Dark Templar have tracked Mobius Corps to their base within the asteroid belt of Revenscar. Well done. 
Carax, what do you know of their defenses? The asteroid field is highly volatile and guards the base's outer rim. The Spear of Adun will not be able to pass. However, our carriers could strike at the heart of the facility. We will set a course at once. Amon has taken away my armies. So shall I take away his. ships for assault. Pyrarch, Mobius Corps' vessels are not moving into attack position. Something isn't right. Our shielding has been punctured. I'm detecting Terran cloak signatures on the lower decks, heading toward the bridge. To me, we will not let the Spear of a Doom fall. Kerax, we cannot let this assault interfere with our plan. Mobius Corps will not expect a counterattack. Though you are not a warrior, you know their defenses better than any other. I entrust this task to you, Facesmith. Lead our carriers against the facility while my warriors hold here. As you command, Hyrock. With our ship boarded, I need our best warriors here. I know you were not trained for battle, Faye Smith, but with your tactical expertise, you can destroy this facility. Go now, with my full faith behind you. The Mobius facility. As we suspected, this is where Amon's hybrid armies are born. The operation is fueled by three power cores. Destroying them will destabilize the facility and allow us to annihilate the remaining structure. If I establish our nexus point on the outer edge of the platform, the Templar can fight their way in. But there are no ground paths and few minerals. Fortunately, our carriers are ready now. With their help, I might have a chance. This platform has been locked by Mobius security protocols. Hmm. They cannot be too difficult to decipher. If I gain access, I should be able to move the platform to areas with additional minerals. Well, at least there's enough resources here to get started. It is done. I have access to the controls. The platform is operational. Carax, we are having difficulty repelling the hybrid on the Spear of a Doom. Have you located their stasis chambers? My scans show two chambers nearby. They appear to run on Solarite. We could use it more than ever. The power core is destroyed. Mobius core energy reserves dropping to 66%. Excellent work, Faye Smith. Press on. The hybrid chambers are gone, and their Solarite is ours. That went better than I'd hoped. Die in the name of a no, I will leave that to you. Carax, Mobius Corps' battlecruisers are warping away from the Spear of Adun. Yes, I believe I have found them. It is no matter. We will not be deterred. The final power core has been destroyed. We must strike now. Hyrock, is the Spear of Adun secure? Yes, we repelled the invaders before they could reach the Solar Core. Our weapon systems are yours to command. It was my honor to serve. Fire! Amon's hybrid facility lies in ruin. His hybrid armies shattered. And yet, for the briefest of moments, we lingered on the cusp of ruin. We endured because of the actions of one brave Templar. 
In the midst of darkness, I have seen a light. I have seen defiant hope. Carax of the Kalai, you were born a craftsman from a cast of engineers. But now, you stand as a warrior. Today, it is clear that the Age of Casts has come to its end. Today, we must all become Templar. your hybrid facility, and turned your servants to my side. All that is left is your destruction. Impudence, back! You are insignificant in the face of the salvation I bring. You will come to Iron and die. Just as he could look into me, so I have looked into him. His form is almost complete, and now he waits for us to return. He plans to bring the great fleet down upon us. There is a way around this. We have to eliminate the sacred Psi Matrix that powers Ire, or we are all doomed. If he intends to use the Golden Armada to stop us from destroying his body, then you are right. Destroying the Psi Matrix is essential. It seems this connection of yours has proved worthwhile. But it is time to free yourself from Amon. Sever yourself from the Kala. I would relinquish all that I know. It is the only way. Unshackle yourself from the past, Rohana, and step into this new age. For the day long. Set a course for Iron. <laughs> Such hubris to think that they could control what they did not understand. Oh, it's always hubris with the Terrans. Get too close to a black hole, and it will crush you. We once thought the same of the Tal'Darim, Alarak. We believed you mindless and obedient slaves. And we thought you were weak, impure, and unworthy. And yet now we stand together. Perhaps we acted too rashly with Mobius Core. There may have been a different way. Oh, Templar, is there ever a moment when your people do not doubt themselves? No, Artanis. Extermination was the only course. The hybrid leave nothing to save. Rohana. Before you freed yourself from the Kala's grip, did you see anything else? Yes, I saw Amon's end. As the Firstborn created the Kala, the Zelnaga were disturbed from their slumber. They felt an absence within the void itself. They discovered Amon and his followers at Zerus, and a war among the gods erupted. Amon unleashed the swarm. And the swarm consumed the Zelnaga. Only a fraction remained within Ulnar. In the final confrontation, Amon was felled, but he was not defeated. He returned to the Void, twisting it with his hatred. His servant, Narud, machinated for eons, seeking a body to sustain his master. 
The hybrid. A stepping stone towards the host body he now forges upon Ire. His plan is almost complete. We are still here, Ohana. And he can be defeated again. The deeds of a Templar suit you, Karax. For the entirety of my life, I have given myself to the art of creation. My war has been one of design. A battle against obstacles that hinder optimization. I am a face smith, and will always be my first calling. But, as times change, those who were not born true Templar can become so through their deeds. Then ready yourself, Templar. You will be needed. So many lost. So much destruction. But there is a glimmer of hope. We will destroy Amon's host body and cast him from the Kala. The Templar shall make our final stand. Brothers, sisters, the time has come for our attack. Oh well, this is truly a miracle. Rohana has used her connection to the Kala to reveal Amon's plan. He forges a hybrid body to indwell, and exists within it and the Kala. But he remains vulnerable until this form is complete. He must call upon the Golden Armada for defense. There is still a way to prevent them from warping to Ire, by dismantling the Warp Network's power structures. That would grant us the time we need to destroy Amon's hybrid form. Clever. Once he only has the Templar to inhabit, we unleash the Keystone, removing Amon from the Kala. It will not contain him for long. No, but long enough for our people to sever their connection to the Kala and thrust him back into the void. This optimism is dangerous. We could destroy them all from orbit and not waste such time. How dare you suggest the destruction of our people? I will not accept that, Alarak. What we face is a true horror, but we must endure it. Ready yourselves. The final confrontation is upon us, and we will meet it head on. Ire. Some of my people are seeing it for the first time. They were born on Shakuris, and have only heard tales of our homeland. They will see much more of it, now that the power of the Keystone is within our grasp. Zeratul spoke truly. It has ushered us unto hope. Yes, though not as we initially suspected. Still, his tireless devotion brought us this chance. I will forever honor him for that. As shall I. The Keystone is reacting to void energies on the surface of Ire. But this scale... It can only be... Amon. How long until the Keystone is ready? I do not know. It has only been used like this once before. The Keystone shows clear evidence of tampering. Likely by this Nerud creature mentioned in the Terran Engineer Swan's report. It was adapted to drain the void energies within Kerrigan, and store them until they could be redistributed to revive Amon. The foundation is there, but it was never intended to house the full energies of Azalnaga. You will find a way, Karax. If there is one thing I have learned, you will not rest until you have found your result. I have faith in that. Thank you, Hierarch. But this will prove difficult. The Keystone was intended to be a vessel. Not a prison. I have such tangible memories of Ire. I can still feel the warm breezes of Aldera, its hot sunlight filling my every pore. The Praetor Council took me to Aldera as a youngling too. It is there where I ignited my first Psyblade. Phoenix as well. It was the proudest moment of his life. He felt such purpose, such surety of his existence. I look forward to seeing this place he so loved for the first time. Those memories you hold, they are of another place. That world is no more. Then we shall build a better one on top of it. Your people are lost, Arpanus. I know you desire to save them, 
but it will not be done. Our focus should be on Amon's destruction alone. By destroying Amon's body, then liberating my people from the Kala, he will be thrust back into the void. It is a victory we can achieve. It is a folly and a risk we do not need to incur. We should eradicate the Protoss, burn the entire world and all on it. No, Alarak. If we may save my people, it will be done. Do not defy me on this. Of course, I only counsel wisdom. If you do not wish to hear it, I will say no more. The Psi Matrix's power structures are accessible from three locations across Aya. We must divide our forces to destroy them. I shall coordinate you and your executor's efforts from aboard the Spear of Adun. We can begin as soon as you are ready, Hierarch. The Psionic Matrix is the beating heart of Ayer, formed from a lattice of Kedaran crystals embedded within the planet's crust. Its power structures can only be accessed from three points. If we destroy them, it should disable the warp network. I will send three forces. We shall destroy the Matrix before Amon can recall the Golden Armada to Ayer. Alarak, you must enter the Citadel of the Executor to reach the first power structure, but the city has been infested. No matter. We shall purge Antioch of the Zerg. Even if I must do it myself. So these are the Zerg who defeated you. Pitiful. They too shall fall before my power. Tell me, how did you lose ire to these animals? Did they leap up? and she will guard your starships. The Zerg were once the greatest threat my people faced. Only a fool would underestimate them. Well then, I will bow to your experience as the fool. We have nearly reached the power structure. Press forward, High Lord. Orders from you? The inner chamber is completely sealed. My stealth will not avail us here. Then let us try a more direct approach. Guard me while I prepare. The Zerg will surely sense my growing power. Unbelievable. You didn't just blast open the door. Both the Zerg and the power structure will trouble us no more. Contact the others and tell them of the victory I have brought you. Rohana, Alarak and I have destroyed the power structure. Alert the next team that they may begin. Carax, Phoenix, the loss of the first power structure has not gone unnoticed. Hybrid have convened to defend the area. Good. They shall suffer the full extent of my wrath. All in good time, friend Phoenix. The Hybrid are a powerful foe. And if we're going to face them, we will need support. I've spent quite some time studying void energy. I should be able to reclaim robotic units and structures from Amon. Then let us assemble our army, so a hybrid may fall before it. An immortal? I cannot free the pilot from Amon's grasp, but I should be able to take control of it. The power structure lies ahead, but the temple grounds are vast. Hmm. Sentries, immortals, colossi, reavers. We should reclaim as many as possible before proceeding. I can reclaim the gateway and robotics facility in this area. We could then supplement our forces with the units of our choosing. A clever plan. I'm curious, Faye Smith. Could you take control of me? If your systems were compromised by Amon, yes. I believe I could purify them. Surely the hybrid will be no match for us now. I believe you are right, friend Phoenix. Let us make for the power structure. Your crew 
insane has failed. Your brethren and the master are one flesh. With the hybrid eliminated, we can safely destroy the power structure. There. The Matrix was never meant to be dismantled like this. It has released a massive overflow of psionic energy from the surface of Ire. Hierarch, I fear you are in great peril. Psionic energy is gathering in the cavern behind you. If it reaches your position, do not fear, Karax. My warriors and I will keep ahead of the energy storm. Victory is still within our grasp. Artanis, I am sending my Dark Templar to clear the path ahead. They shall aid your advance. As will the purifiers, deploying warp prisons. The Taldarine shall win this battle for you. My warriors are joining your forces now. Be swift, my brothers. The psionic energy has already flooded the cavern entrance. Continue fighting, warriors. I will channel the astral winds to heal your wounds. To me, Nerezi! Several Nidus worms are defending the final power structure. My Dark Templar will aid you in destroying them. Slay the Zerg! We are nearly there! The final power structure. When it falls, the Psy Matrix will be no more. You have done it, Artanis. We have stayed the Golden Armada's advance, for now. Initiating Dimensional Recall. I cannot begin to understand the depth of your sorrow, Artanis. Such noble Templar, now made a monstrosity. Those left, trapped in a body controlled by Amon. It is the most horrific of fates. But what pains me is the uncertainty of facing them. They are my brothers. Sisters. When we strike these abominations, will our brethren bear witness within? Will they be silent watchers? Or are they already lost to oblivion? I can offer you little comfort or surety, my friend. But know what you do is the only course. Now that the Psy Matrix has fallen, Amon cannot warp the Golden Armada back to Ire to defend himself. We must destroy his host body before it fully awakens. For the sake of our people, we cannot falter. Something more, and you will not stop us! Brace yourself for the full might of the Firstborn! So this is Amon's host body. An abomination made from the flesh of our brethren and the Overmind's carcass. Indeed, Hierarch. My sensors indicate his form is consuming void energies at an alarming rate. In this state, even our most powerful weaponry will have no effect upon Amon. 
These shards, they generate void energy, drain life around them to feed his host body. They must be destroyed. The land near them has been destabilized. It's almost as if he's terraforming the area, turning it into the void. Wait, the shards are opening rifts, summoning entities to defend them. Then we are running out of time. Warriors, ready your blades. We fight for the future of Ire! The Void reflects my will, and I will your destruction. Amon is continually opening rifts to protect the shards. We will need to attack before the defenders become overwhelming. I will break the cycle of the Zem Naga. Artanis. I am detecting a large number of Void Entities inbound on our Nexus Point. Get ready to defend! We have done it! Warriors, press forward! Move carefully, Hyrule. Destroying a Void Shard has increased the strength of the remaining four. Artanis, there are several locations surrounding Amon's form that would serve as excellent forward outposts. Clear out the enemy, and our forces will provide you with additional support. Suffering. Rift detected. Expect another onslaught of Void Entity soon. Well done, Hierarch. My Nerezim are establishing a position now. Establishing Purifier Fortifications now. We follow you to war, Hierarch. Amon's downfall is at hand. Calderim, your High Lord demands the Dark God's blood. Do not disappoint me. All three forward positions have been secured, Artanis. Now, let us bring an end to Amon. Purifier forces, head out and support our Hierarch's warriors! The blades of Shakuras descend upon the Dark God! Warriors! Slaughter all who oppose my will! Victory nears, my brothers! Fight with all you have! This is it, brothers! All of our hopes rest upon this moment! Abandon your fear! The end of an age is at hand! No! Amon's form has awakened! All vessels, ready your weapons, now! dropping. Amon's host has been destroyed. Ready the Keystone, Karax. Our final stand approaches. Can you sense the hope, Matriarch? I do. If we succeed, we will have a new chance to forge the unified society we strove for on Shakuras. We will preserve the traditions of the Nerezim. They will not be forgotten. In time, they may be. I fear losing our old ways, Artanis. But as we've worked with the Taldarim and the Purifiers, I now see that it is inevitable. Traditions must change as we do. A day may come when we leave behind the Shadow Walk, just as you have abandoned the Kala and the caste system. That is the price we must pay to become truly one people. So I have come to believe. You seem troubled by so much loss, Hierarch. How could one not be? But the brooding you sense is only concern for the task at hand. To convince our people that they must shed what they hold most sacred. You convinced me. I, who held the Kala above all else. You knew the risk that connection was presenting to us. Indeed. Though I seldom knew his possession, each was horrifying. I bore silent witness to the mockery he made of me. I cannot imagine the suffering they have experienced below. The release they must yearn for. Hierarch, it is done. 
The Zelnaga Keystone is ready for deployment. Indeed. However, the duration of the effect still deeply concerns me. It is our only option. We must believe that there will be enough time to speak reason. No matter what happens, if we die, we all die Templar. And I thank you for that. For your faith in me. It has been my eternal honor to serve you, Hierarch. I have been blessed to truly get to know you, Artanis. To call you friend, not just because of memory, but through experience. Our journey is not yet over, friend Phoenix. If we win this day, know that the glory of building a new civilization lies ahead, and I will need you to help me do it. It is a task I greatly look forward to. But I no longer wish to be called by the name Phoenix. Oh? I am honored to choose my own name. It will be Talendar. Talendar. One who bears a strong heart. A fitting name. So it shall be. You have surprised my people, Hierarch. They knew little of the bravery of the Templar. Some are even impressed by it. They have fought nobly, Alarak. I am honored that they stand with me. They admire your conviction and brutality. And if we are victorious this day, will they continue to stand with me? If I will it. But now is not the time to muse upon future things. Not when my vengeance awaits. The Keystone is ready, Hierarch. We await your command. Carax, open a channel to our entire fleet. I will address the Templar. My brethren, hear me, for there is little time left. All that remains of our race, our civilization, are those that stand beside you now, and those corrupted on the surface below. Our kind once stood as stewards of a galaxy full of promise. In our pride and division, we failed that sacred charge and fell to ruin. The Kala, designed to bring unity, ultimately only aided those divisions. Its hope was a lie. Today, that lie must come to its end, and with it, our prejudice and arrogance must become a thing of the past. For we now fight in the belief that our kind has not seen its end. That we, Protoss, can stand bound by a belief in unity. And that we, Protoss, will forge a great and mighty new civilization. Trust each other in the fight ahead. Strike as one will. Let our last stand burn a memory so bright that we will be known throughout eternity. The Keystone is in place, Hierarch. It will require time to charge to its full power. The Nerezim stand ready, Artanis. We will hold the northern entrance to the temple. The Purifiers and I will secure the southern approach. And I lay claim to the primary battle line. Amon shall know my wrath firsthand. My forces will ensure the Keystone's safety and provide for our defense. We will reinforce your warriors as we are able. Hierarch, the Zerg surround us. But what of the Golden Armada? Disabling the Psi Matrix delayed their return, but... Amon will bring the full might of the Great Fleet to bear against us. Of that, there is no doubt. But we shall not break. We are the Daylon, united as never before. Entaro Adun. Entaro Tassadar. Entaro Zeratul. The enemy approaches. Nerezim, ready your warp blades. We shall hold the line.
so. Amon intends to lay siege from all directions. Step forth, Dark One, and face Alarak, High Lord of the Taldarim. Zerg detected approaching the southern entrance. Amon is probing our defenses, searching for weakness. Show him none. Amon is using the Armada's most powerful ships against the Keystone. As painful as it will be, we have no choice but to destroy them. You claim to save your people, yet here you stand, a butcher. Only desolation awaits. Artanis, the Golden Armada has begun attacking the Spear of Adun. I'll try to support your forces, but we're taking heavy damage. This vessel serves as a beacon for your hope. Your faith is misplaced. Weak, powerless, submit! The Spear of Adun has taken a direct hit. The Fabrication Matrix is unresponsive. Chrono Surge can no longer be activated. Warriors, a stream of enemies will be upon us shortly. Stand firm, and we shall resist them. The primary entrance has been breached. The Taldarim have been overrun. Reinforce their position immediately. Where there was one salvation, now all shall be consumed by the cleansing flame. Enemies are swarming against all three entrances. Resist them, brothers! The Golden Armada. A shining symbol of arrogance. Let your pride be your downfall. Their blood is on your hands, Artanis. False savior! Your defiance means their death. Hierarch, I see an unending tide of Protoss signatures. He's sending every last one of the possessed Templar against the Keystone. We will hold, Karax. We must. Energy Matrix charged. The Keystone is ready, Hierarch. Warriors, pull back to the Keystone. Let them come to us. Solendis! Templar! Rid yourselves of Amon! Sever your nerve cords! We are one in the color. Without the color, what will we become? Free. The Dark One has been banished back into the Void. For now, 
We are free. All of this because of you. I will bring our great dream of a unified Protoss to bear. We will gather the survivors, rebuild our cities. We will reject our old divisions and forge a new society. Together, we will shape our destiny amongst the stars.
this be? The Hierarch, we are receiving an unauthorized transmission. It is from Ulnar. 